Hello guys. So this is it. This is basically like the end of the line that we're in the bus. Pretty crowded, but actually before it was more crowded. We are on the bus to the, to the airport, so the Indian adventure is over for now. We're about to catch our flight to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Let's see if they let us in or you know, whatever will happen. I'm definitely gonna miss this, but uh, since it's, it's been a hectic uh, couple of weeks lately, it's been expensive, it's been weird, it's been uh, uh, so, so I'm also happy to fly there and catch a breath again. But yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to Malaysia, of course. It, it is, you know, we spend a lot of time there. But, oh, you guys just need to go out. Alrighty. Yeah, so you ready? All right. <laughs> I think, I think everybody's a bit sad leaving, but we will be coming back. Uh, not exactly sure if and how many months it will be, but it will be not in the too distant future, so let's see. Original plan was getting a visa for Bangladesh here in Kolkata and then go to Bangladesh actually, but they don't do that right now, not for foreigners. Uh, they used to, but yeah, they said no. The, the embassy clearly said, no way, you have to go to Delhi. And yeah, that was that was impossible with the visa running out or I mean, yeah, it would have been very difficult. And uh, because also it takes some time to process the, vid uh, the visa. It, they used to, you know, get visas on arrival. They stopped that now, at least for foreigners. Uh, I hope they will, you know, reinstate that. But, and Nepal was also a bit difficult because we would have, test, would have had to test the, the kids and we don't want to test our kids. This is, it's, it's traumatic, it's, it's, it's painful, and it's, you know, it's just not good, right? So, we decided to go back to Malaysia. We've been to Malaysia. Uh, yeah, we spent there a year during the, the, the beginning of the pandemic. So basically, like kind of like going home again, you know, leaving this home for another home. But it's all right, you know, I'm not complaining. Moonshine is never complaining. Yeah, we took this bus because basically where we stayed, like any bus on the main road will go to the airport. It's in South Dum Dum, so it's not, not a huge, huge path. And that's a lot of honk, honking horns going on, as you can clearly hear. Goodbye, Kolkata. Goodbye, Tirumalangi. See? A lot going on. Anyway, so we got tested. We're good again. We fill, filled out the app that you need. And uh, yeah, let's see. We don't have a, a flight from Malaysia. We'll stay there for three months. And then, you know, either go to India or go somewhere else first. This we will decide in Malaysia. You know, and um, but yeah, I hope they, I hope they let us in. You know, I hope they let us fly. <laughs> Goodbye, city of joy. Goodbye, Kolkata. Right, so we made it to the airport, and our flight is not yet ready to check in. So, 15 minutes, then we then we can check in or something like that, maybe more. That's okay. You know. It feels good being in an international airport because it kind of like, I don't know, feels like freedom, but it's not sure yet. All right, hey, girlie, what are you doing? You're trying to push the cart. Hey, are you trying to push the cart, huh? I think you are. <laughs> the trolley. Uh, our kids running around, of course. <laughs> They're not so much used. Departure halls, right? <laughs> but they're having fun. It's all right. It's not even so busy, actually. I mean, it's not like when the pandemic was at its high, but it's still, it's not like super busy. I, but I don't know why that is. I mean, actually, the thing is, like when we were in India, we did not see foreigners. I mean, maybe a couple of times it's all like an expat working here. I did not see any, any tourists. So I don't remember now. But yeah, so usually when you go to India, it's quite a popular place, you know, so people want to go to India, so... So, there are less people traveling, obviously. I don't know why. Well, the biggest why is, of course, because they... Usually you can take an e-visa and then you get three months, right? You can still get that visa, but you can only stay one month. That's a problem. So, and nobody wants to go to India for one month, right? I think. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe people on holidays. Not sure, but one month in India? 
definitely not enough time. Yeah, we stayed now four months and uh, yeah. parts of it was uh, during co uh, because of COVID. Uh, I mean, not that it actually you know made us really sick, but uh, yeah, so quarantine and not moving. I mean, if, if I'd known I have that extra extra a month, you know, we would have gone up to Darjeeling, Assam maybe, but you know, so we got like, what, what is it, five or six weeks in Kolkata, which I could do any any time, you know, uh, I'd like to stay longer here in this country. <laughs> kids will be kids. A bit nervous about filming as a whole bunch of guys with, in uniforms and guns. I don't know. Never know. You know? It's like when I was when we when we left Egypt for Pakistan, we I filmed the whole thing at, at the airport. They stopped me and they made me del delete the footage, so that was very bad. So Egypt, yeah, in Cairo airport, don't film too much. They will, they will catch you. Of course, unless you're filming with your phone, but you know, I'm filming with the camera. And of course, they think I'm a spy. I hope they don't think I'm a spy here. Hi. I am. Yes, I thought so. Yeah, I'll report <laughs> her soon. So we checked in. We got through security, passport control, and we left India. Now we're like a no man's land, somewhere in between the two worlds. But basically, we're waiting for our flight, which is, um, like in three hours? Yeah, something like that. Two hours to check in. And then um, we fly to Kuala Lumpur for four hours. A little sleep. Tough on the kids, but you know, what you gonna do? Sometimes you have to go through it. Alrighty. Anyway, so yeah, and then uh, we hope that they let us in. In Malaysia. I'm very sad leaving India, but also I'm um, looking forward to you know, Malaysia for a little bit, you know. Yeah, let's see what happens. Kids are a bit crazy, so... They must have it from somewhere. It's not gonna be a lot of sleep tonight, you know. Maximum four hours. And tomorrow, we'll arrive at seven o'clock, maybe seven o'clock in Kuala Lumpur. And then, I don't know, the whole check-in process and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know, maybe an hour, or maybe two, I don't know. And then we have to wait. <laughs> <coughs> for qu <coughs> quite a, a few, <coughs> sorry, quite a few hours um, to check into our apartment. We've um, first week we booked and then Cyberjaya, which is a bit closer uh, to the airport, but not like yeah. I mean, it could have gone. It was just that's what happened, right? Uh, there's not so many availabilities. Um, I'm, I'm look, it's looking good. I'm looking. I think we have a good apartment. So let's see what happens, all right? Always a bit like, you know, not sure uh, who am I making these videos for, you know? I, I don't have a, like a particular um, audience, you know? <coughs> but uh, of course, within the last four months, it's been more, of course, Indian, lots of Indian, but uh, of course I have, there are Malaysians, there are Pakistanis, there are Egyptians, there are, there, you know, people from all over the world, and Americans, English, Australian, people from Singapore, people from Morocco, I don't want to forget anybody, you know, all around the world so I have um, subscribers from everywhere. I'm not sure if I have subscribers from the North Pole, but I hope if I have someone, please let me know. But no, is, is some of you guys, from you guys, is, is he from like a, or she, from a really weird place that, you know, not so many people know? Let me know in the comment section, I, I'd like to hear from you, you know. You can, you can tell me anything anyway, you know. And, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 it makes me wanna dance. Normally would be in bed by now. Yourself. He. Are we flying? <laughs> Check out the people in the in the camera. There's people in the camera. <clears throat> Alright, so we got summertime away. <laughs> it's actually quite fun here. <clears throat> Even if uh, 
drinking water fountain, so which is very seldom. Usually, they make you throw away your drinking water, and then you go into the airport, and then they, they make you buy like water for some ab absurd price. You know, not here, not in Kolkata. Kolkata is better than most of other, most of all airports. Ah, it really seems like we're flying to Malaysia. <laughs> Yeah, some good times there. It's good. This time we will, uh, you know, relax, but also we want to go a little bit east, you know, and go on that jungle railway, and we go northeast, you know. Ah, we haven't really figured it out. It's like always, we don't really have a plan, right? I think those are the best, best trips, you know, if you don't have it all planned out. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to be making some videos about Malaysia. I also hope hope uh, that some of my Indian subscribers will continue following us, you know. I mean, we will come back to India, but now it's Malaysia, right? And then, yeah, what not? We don't, we don't really know. Yeah, as I told you, no plans. We, we don't have our lives, you know, planned out. That's just not the way it works. Ah, it's a pretty disgusting TV show, these guys. They have their heads in ah in the cock oh there's rats they're grabbing from from rats and there's cockroaches on their heads it's pretty disgusting you know you would not believe what people do for money you know they'll even sleep with rats and cockroaches whatever <laughs> anyway so this is quite a quiet uh, airport um, and there's none of the actually I must say. It would have been sad. We, we figured, you know, we're flying again, so we have a, a, a reason to go, to go McDonald's or the Burger King, you know, because we usually don't eat this kind of stuff. It's like flying for us. But there's none of that. There's a Momo stand and a Biryani, Biryani something stand for a very expensive, uh, very expensive. So, I mean, you have spent that out, you know, maybe check out. Yeah, whatever. No, never mind. We're not so hungry anyway. First of all, They'll have to let us in there. <laughs> Aunt, you know, make his own plans. Yeah, Malaysian subscribers who are watching this, I'm back, maybe. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, tell your friends, uh, Moonchan is here. <clears throat> Moonchan and his family. Moonchan and Lemongrass and his family. And uh, yeah, tell them uh, to watch. You know, the more the merrier, right? Righty, I guess we can board very soon. The guys arrived. Am I still take an hour or so? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But let's see. Realize it's a very small airplane. I don't like airplanes, especially small airplanes. Hubble more. They shake more. I know it. But yeah, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Unless the plane goes down. You don't want the plane, a plane to go down. You never want the plane to go down. For landing, of course. Landing is alright. But crash landing, not alright. So they did form a line and people starting to get in. I don't, did not hear anything about, you know, kids can go first. Fairly small plane, as mentioned. Alrighty. Let's go to the plane. You have your backpack. Open the right flight. We're going in right now. We don't all sit together. I mean, I'll, I'll be sitting with the two, two bigger boy, uh, kids, and the she, my wife will be sitting. I mean, we can exchange seats. And that's all. all right, so we are 11. All righty. So my wife sits there with, with Dylan, the baby, and we're here. So that's no good, so I'll, I'll try to exchange. I mean, it's only a few hours, not so bad. And if I have the kids, uh, you know, at least he's, he's got rid of that and can get some sleep. But yeah, no good. I saw my wife, at least she's got two seats. So I wish she can, she can basically sleep a little bit. These guys here fight. Don't fight. Malaysian. Malaysian language. 
I haven't heard it in a while. And I understand so much. Actually, so far, uh, Air Asia, you know, uh, the staff and everything was, was pretty good, you know. Not, nothing, nothing wrong with it. Very friendly, very, you know. <laughs> not like these guys are trying to reach, you know, online. But these guys are all right. Is our concern, and the safety features may differ from other in front of you. This is your seat. Around the best Nazi Lamak in town. I've had, I didn't have Nazi Lamak in a while. Alrighty. But not here. Mm. Yeah, yes. To dim to light. That's why I don't see anything. are sleeping already. Well, more or less. Please inform you that we have landed 15 minutes ahead of shadow. Kuala Lumpur local time now is. Sleep enough, right? Did you sleep okay? A little bit, huh? Ah. Welcome to Malaysia. So we made it. Uh, not so much sleep, but uh, it was an alright flight. Now let's try to get the customs, right? And then eventually get to our apartment. But yeah, let's see. <laughs> we have a futuristic airport here. Pretty cool. It's like an airport on the Death Star. Immigration. So when going through the passport control, they asked us to, to come to the office, but they're not the only ones. Okay, so we're at the, we are being held at the immigration office for not having a, an onward ticket. And I think they, when we told them uh, we're going up to Thailand, right? Uh, overland by bus. And then, I don't know, they want to see bookings you know like because we're staying here three months and we stayed here more than a year last time so they thought that was kind of fishy maybe not sure so i don't know what's going to happen <clears throat> if i have to <clears throat> book a flight or <clears throat> i don't know i don't know what's going to happen let's see it's uh, not good you know usually malaysia come in three months no problem no questions asked right but yeah went to the wrong guy i suppose pretty bad and the kids are of course they're crazy they're tired and when i will they want to go to the apartment i hope they do not yeah not accept us that would be very very bad uh, it does not stop you know the downward spiral 
Uh, well, let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe we will. Right, guys, it was uh, less tragic than we thought. Uh, I really, really thought they're not gonna let us in. I really, really thought they're gonna send us away and maybe deport us. I don't know, maybe to Switzerland. We don't live there. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's the power of the red book, you know. I don't know. Because we didn't have anything and apparently they, they mined and then talking to the ladies and they <clears throat> they were like, I don't know, they didn't know that. They I, probably didn't, I don't know if they knew. And, and then they, 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 they knew I was a, a YouTuber and talked to her about this and then we, we had to take a number and wait like for, I would have, would have, would have easily been three hours, right? We would have easily uh, waited for three hours, right? Or three days. Yeah, or three days. <laughs> and then like five minutes later, this, this officer came, you know, there was lots of Bangladeshi and Indian and Pakistani and uh, I mean, by the looks of it, mostly, and I, I talked to some of them and um, yeah, I walked by them and straight to us and then said, uh, what are you doing here? I said, are you a YouTuber? <laughs> you know, I checked my channel and uh, yeah, like, uh, Asked me what we're doing. We're traveling around the country, of course, and then we'll go to whatever somewhere else. And then he had total understanding of that, so he knew it's kind of a lifestyle or it's kind of a job. And and he took us in and then proceeded, and we got our three months stamps, and we're free to go. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was really not so sure. I was. I really thought they're gonna send us somewhere. I saw us flying on on a flight to Istanbul or you know, or, or, or Dubai or yeah, with our last money, <laughs> you know. Uh, but it, yeah. So we're here now. So we're, we'll be exploring Malaysia a little bit for you. We'll be. I, I, I've just woken up because I have so much. Uh, what's it called? No, adrenaline. Yeah, it's an like adrenaline kick. I mean, I'm tired. I mean, I slept maybe two hours. Uh, at the most, right? And yeah, well, so I'm, I'm, I'm like an adrenaline, adrenaline shot, kick to the head. So woke me up. So yeah, so I'm ready to travel. Anyway, so we're going to our apartment, and yeah, I will show you the apartment uh, probably in the next video because this is long already. And go and me grab your bag now. Yeah, I'm going to grab my bag. Yeah, all right, all right, guys, bye bye, and uh, <laughs> take good care, and talk to you in my next video. Hey guys, you want to say goodbye? <laughs> All right, guys, bye bye. All right, <laughs> we're actually in Malaysia. It's just uh, outside the airport. I'm gonna take a tram from here or to train from, from here. Maybe we'll grab a, uh, I'm like Uber, like a grab, I call it here. All right, it's a bit hazy. It's a bit hot, but not too much. It's less hot than in India, I think. Oh, wow. Well, it... I'm confused, but... Get to be back. All right, guys. Yeah, just wanted to mention that. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.